Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Reset. So today, um, minimal props. So we're gonna go outside because it's so beautiful. Um, it'll be a little bit of a test on our feet, which is excellent, a little bit of a challenge. Um, and if you want, you can grab a block just for a couple of the poses. But let's start seated. So starting seated, you can sit onto your shins. If you prefer cross-legged, uh, start there. And then just bring your hands onto your thighs. You can have palms down if you need to feel a little more grounded, or you can have palms up towards the ceiling because it just is more receiving. And then find a nice tall spine. Once you find a nice easy seat here, open up to the sounds around you. Up here is the sounds of trees, sounds of birds, sounds of my children. So important right now able to just open our ears and listen without any judgment and to take it in so connect your ears right to your heart and from your heart listen to the sound of the world around you judgment without any reaction. Listen. Round down with your exit. Your inhale, let it energize you. Exhale, ground down. And inhale, bringing in life. Inhale, oxygen. And that life, exhale it down into your roots. And then your next inhale, just open your eyes. Next, inhale as you press your shins down. Inhale, reach your arms up, interlace your fingers, and then exhale up and over to your right. Inhale, come on up through the center. Exhale to your left. Inhale and come up. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Press your head into your hands. Inhale, long spine. And as you press from your hips down through your knees, exhale, twist to your right. And then inhale, come on back to center. Exhale, twist to your left, elbows wide. Try and keep your hips facing forward. Inhale, reach your arms up, interlace. Exhale, up and over your right. One more time, inhale, center. Exhale, to your left, hips are square forward. Inhale and come up. Interlace your fingers, elbows wide. Exhale, twist to the right, right hip forward. Inhale, come to center, keeping your hips square forward. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, come back center, reach your arms up. And then exhale, bring your hands down onto your mat. Walk your legs back, plank, and then exhale to your down dog. And then down dog here, feel free to walk out the back of your legs. As you do that, pressing your hands forward, Press your hips back so you're feeling really long through the sides of your body. One more breath. And then just settle into your down dog here. So as you press your hands down and forward, your hips press back, take a full breath.
and then inhale, come on forward to plank. Exhale, and down dog. Inhale, rocking forward on your feet to plank. Exhale, press your legs back down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down. One more time. Inhale, come to plank. Exhale, and down. And then inhale, step your right foot forward. Transfer your hands back a little bit so they're framing more your right foot. Now lift your left leg up. And then you're going to just roll your left hip down. Try and keep your right leg straight. If you need to bend it, you do. And now roll your left hip down. So you roll your left hip down so you feel a stretch in the back of your right hamstring. That's the bottom leg. The one that's attached to the ground right now. And then from here, as you press your left leg back, inhale and just reach the top of your head forward, arms back. Exhale, bring your hands down. Keeping your hands down, take an inhale. And then exhale, just bring your left leg down, keeping your left leg straight. Inhale, lift your leg up. Exhale, bring your leg down. Inhale, leg up. Your left hip is still low down. Inhale, go in the Good. Inhale, come up. And then here, stay up, keeping your left leg nice and long. Roll your left hip down. And then inhale, reach the top of your head forward and your arms back. And then inhale, come up, teeter-totter up. And then exhale, teeter-totter back down. Inhale, teeter-totter back up. And then exhale, teeter-totter down. So your left leg, like your left toes might just tap down. Inhale, you come up. So you feel it in your right butt cheek. Exhale and down. Come to that uh, like Dakasana flying airplane shape. And then inhale, come up. And reach your arms up and your left knee forward. And then exhale, you're going to open your arms and open your left knee to the left, okay? So your inhale, you reach your arms up. And then your exhale, left knee to the left. Okay? Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open up. And now stay here, opened up. And then keeping your arms up beside you, turn your foot towards the back wall. Lift your left knee up. So the muscle, you feel it right on the outer left hip. You'll feel it just start to wake up. So arms are up beside you, left knee up, left foot back, take a breath. Moving into Ardha Chandrasana, extend your left leg back, bring your right hand down onto the ground, or you can use a block underneath your right hand. And then reach your left arm up towards the sky. Left leg long. One full breath. Bring your left hand on your hip. Exhale. Bring your left leg down. So it's like you're trying to step your left foot to your right foot, but don't. And then inhale, lift your left leg back up. And then exhale, scooping your left foot towards the right, but the left foot doesn't touch the ground. Inhale, left leg back up. So it works the outer left hip. Exhale down. Inhale up, working the outer right hip too. Exhale down. Inhale back up. Ardha Chandrasana, reach your left arm up, one breath. Bend your right knee, step your right foot down and back. Warrior two. Good. Turn out your right thigh. From your left hip, press out through your left heel. From your left hip, press out through your right knee. And then take an inhale here. And exhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm back. Right arm nice and long. One full breath. And now inhale, straighten your right leg. Press your left hip, like hinge your left hip or cock your left hip a little bit more towards your right hip, okay? And then bend your right elbow 
Grab left hand to your right elbow and gently pull your right elbow to the back wall. Keep pressing your left hip forward. Breathe into the front of your heart and the back of your heart. One more breath. Inhale, come on up to warrior two. Exhale, hands down. Walk your right leg back, plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, down. Two more times, okay? Inhale, come on forward to plank. Exhale, and down. Inhale, and plank. Exhale, down. Stand down, dog. Take a full two breaths. Now your legs nice and strong, kneecaps lift up, legs press back, you're gonna walk your hands back towards your feet. Inhale and come up. Interlace your fingers, exhale up and over to your right. Inhale, come center, exhale to your left. Inhale, come center, interlace your fingers behind you, twist to the right, keep your right hip forward. Inhale, back center, Exhale, twist to your left. So you feel it more in just your upper chest. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hinge over your legs, hands down, and now walk your hands forward into plank. Good. From plank on your exhale, down. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Frame your left foot with your hands. Transfer your weight forward into your left foot and then lift your right leg up. And then just to get some balance here, roll your left hip down, keep your right leg really long, that's one in the air. Inhale, reach the top of your head forward, arms back. And then bring your hands down onto your heavy bar. Exhale, bring your leg down, right leg down, keep your right hip square down towards the mat. And then inhale, lift your right leg up. So you feel like the back of your right knee is facing up to your ceiling or your sky. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, right leg up. Stay here, right leg up. And then inhale, the Kasana Toppling tree, tree, reach the top of your head forward, and your arms back. Then inhale, teeter-totter up. And then exhale, come back down, teeter-totter down, and pass top one tree. Inhale, come up, teeter-totter up. Exhale, teeter-totter down. Last time, inhale, top, up. And then exhale, down. And then inhale, slowly come up. Reach your arms up, right knee forward. And then exhale, open up your right knee, your right. Inhale, arms up, right knee forward. Exhale, open up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms up beside you, right knee out to your right, and then stay here. And so everything kind of stays the same. Just bring your right foot, like it's gonna step towards like the back behind you. Keep your right knee up nice and high so you feel it right in your outer right hip. That really says, hello. And now moving slowly into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Bring your left hand down, either onto a block or down onto your mat. Right arm up towards the ceiling. Take a breath here. Bring your right hand onto your hip. And then on your next exhale, bring your right foot down, like it's gonna scoop beside your left foot. And then inhale, bring your right leg back up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, right leg back up on the Exhale, leg down. So you feel it in the outer hips here, right? Inhale, come up. Last time, inhale, oh, exhale down, sorry. Inhale, come up, land into your Ardha Chandrasana, one full breath. 
warrior two, step your right foot down and back. Try to bring your left thigh as close to parallel as it'll come today. Find your warrior two from your right hip. Press out through your outer right foot. From your right hip, Chris, right hip crease, press out through your left knee. Okay, take an inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Reach your left arm up. Good. Keep your right hip pressing out through your left knee. And then inhale, straighten your left leg. Bend your left elbow. Bring your right hand to your left elbow and breathe here into the front of your body, the back of your body. Your right hip pressing forward to your left hip and just breathing into your left ribs in the front and into the back. One more breath. And then inhale, coming up warrior two. Exhale, hands down, walk your legs back so you're in plank. And now from here, exhale, you're gonna crouch back so your knees are hovering, arms are still straight in a down dog. So it's a crouching down dog, hips press back. Inhale, come travel forward into plank. Exhale, crouch back. Inhale, forward. Plank. Exhale, crouch back. Inhale and fold. Exhale, crouch back. One more time. Inhale and fold. Exhale, crouch back. Inhale, come forward to plank. Down dog, exhale. From down dog, bend your knees. Inhale and walk your feet towards your hands and long side. And exhale and fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come up all the way. Step your feet up nice and wide. Outside edges of your feet are parallel. Inhale, long spine. And then exhale and bow forward. Till you feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Nice long spine. If you have that block or you have a chair near you, rest your head there so that it becomes more calming, more restful, especially on a Friday. Calm our systems down. And start to listen to the world around you. The birds. Maybe it's silence. There's actually no such thing as silence. There's always sound. So open, open up your ears to the world around you. Listening even for the sound of your breath. And then heel toe your feet together, come down onto your knees and sit cross-legged, bring your hands onto your thighs and feel now if you need to feel more grounded. If you feel grounded, palms up and just receive. Just find your rhythm in your breath. Letting your 
breath bring you to equanimity, to center, where you are not holding and you are not reaching is equanimity. You're perfectly balanced. And if you need, especially if you've had a really big week, week and you're feeling drained, maybe physically or emotionally, then lay down and have rest so that can feel energized and bring that new energy into our world. I wish you all many and much blessings and namaste.